Good morning. I'm Ray Joseph, and I was asked by Paul Barbara Palmer to share why our family pledges to St. James. Our family are relative newcomers to St. James. There are four of us in the family, Trisha, my wife, and Kendall and Kyla, my daughters. There are five of us, if you count our puppy, Cairo, who joined us during the summer for service. We've been coming here since the summer of 2021. We initially came here because this was one of the few churches in this area that had an outdoor service during the pandemic. Honestly, we thought we would transition back to our neighborhood church when the pandemic ended. Truth be told, we came to St. James for the convenience, but we stayed for the community. And we now think of St. James as our church home. You see, before St. James, we were church nomads. Both my wife and I grew up Catholic, went to Catholic school, were married in the Catholic church, and were raising our girls Catholic. So when we moved to Westchester from Queens in 2012, we naturally searched for a Catholic church. <laughs> and did we search? In 10 years, we went to six Catholic churches, from the Bronx to Fleetwood to Larchmont, New Rochelle, and finally Scarsdale. So we were truly nomads, but when I say we, it was really me. Trisha was very patient and supportive and indulged my church hopping ways. You see, I was looking for a church for our family that filled up our souls on Sundays. For too long, church for me had been a check the box exercise. It's what my strong Catholic upbringing required. As I got older and had kids, that obligation to go because it was what I was supposed to do was no longer enough. No, I wanted to leave church feeling moved. If not every week, then most of the time. I wanted to leave most weeks feeling a little bit closer to God and with a bit more conviction and dedication to living a life of faith. And it's that feeling of moving a little closer to God that kept us coming back to St. James. You see, St. James fills our soul. So how does it do that? Ironically, uh, the word Catholic means all-embracing, universal, and it's here in Episcopalian Church that my family and I have felt truly welcome and embraced. Perhaps it was Deacon Susan Deacon Susie finding us that first day we attended service here that made us feel welcome. She convinced us to stay that day for the coffee hour. Then it was the midnight run, then the Red Door Explorers, then volunteering for the carnival and so on. I think you all perhaps uh, had that feeling as well. We had become inspired to participate in life here like never before. We participate because our souls are filled afterwards from the love, fellowship, and friendliness of this community. Perhaps there is no better example of this all-embracing community than when my 85-year-old mother-in-law visited St. James for the first time over the summer. It was Mother Eliza that found us that Sunday after service to say hi and then said a personal prayer for my mother-in-law who was having surgery the next day. Can you imagine what a personal prayer meant to my deeply religious 85-year-old mother-in-law about to have surgery? It filled up her soul. That prayer gave her a bit more conviction that God would be with her uh, the next day at surgery. Who doesn't want to leave church feeling this way? So while we are relatively newcomers to St. James, we have found a church home and are nomads no more. Last year was the first year we pledged, and frankly, it was an easy decision. How can we not give to St. James, who has, already give, who has already given us more in return these last two years than we received in the prior eight years at all those other churches. My appeal to all of you is to help St. James reach its goal of 100% pledging families. If you don't already, already pledge, please start to pledge. And if you do pledge, please consider raising your pledge by at least 5%. I know our family will do that this year. I know that our family lives are more fulfilled by St. James. And if you feel the same way, join us in sustaining this wonderful church community. May St. James fill your souls with love, inspiration, and faith. Have a blessed week.